Someone needs to turn the lights on. Yeah. Might as well announce it. So I'm not gonna do it to the really dark. Well, they give the ball to number 21, Goodlow, and he scores. Now the Pirates will attempt the extra point conversion. Board? Yeah. Alright, let's see who's home. Home is Unibears. Pirates are the visitor. Okay, hit the hit the lights. You sure? Huh. Graymar's the home. Graymar's the visiting team? Graymar's home, I'm sorry. Oops. I got a big <laughs> Okay, he didn't get it. The extra point attempt is no good. So, with 9-11 left to go in the first quarter, Pirates strike first, 6-0. for the Unibears, Bryant Johnson downs it himself, and the Unibears take over right there on their own 31-yard line. First and 10, Unibears. stick. 17. Uh, 47 over one. 47? Or no, 17, 17. Number 17, Batson on the run. Number 28, Brandon Hall on the stop. It brings up third down for the Unibears.
Who carried it? Um. Turn around. Uh, we missed that. Missed that one. Now the ball changes hands and the Pirates get it. First and ten, Graymar Pirates. Ball on the Pirate 38. Fizzer on the carry and number 21, Brian Johnson, on the stop. It brings up third down for the Graymar Pirates. runs backwards. Got it. 
Number 10, Anthony Fizzer scores for the Graymar Pirates. The Pirates will now attempt the extra point conversion. That was two good sound hits. He just made two people feel bad. action pass it has caught the end zone for a two-point conversion number four Joseph Lee catches it for the Pirates and the Pirates strike again 14 nothing Number 28, Brandon Hall on the stop. It brings up second down for the Una Bears. Ball on the Bear, 13 yard line. Gray carried the ball again. I know number 44, Adrian Russell was there on the stop. Brings up third down, timeout, Una Bears. Ball just this side of the 11 yard line.
option pass is incomplete. It'll bring up fourth down for the Univers. on the 21-yard line. And it's Pirates ball. The play-action pass is incomplete. It'll bring up second down for the Graymar Pirates. pass by the Green Bar Pirates is incomplete. It'll bring up third down for the Pirates. is completed to Clark Beatty and he scores for the Graymar Pirates. Pirates will now attempt the extra point conversion. keeps it himself, and the extra point attempt is no good by the Graymar Pirates. Well, with 145 left to go in the first, Pirates are on top, 20-0.
Pirates end up with it. I believe number 44, Russell, ended up with it for the Pirates. First and 10, Graymar Pirates. Play action. carries the ball. Number 32, Marcus Doss on the stop. It brings up second down for the Graymar Pirates. Brings the ball to the Bear 33. Still second down. That's the end of the first quarter. Number 44, Russell on the carry, and number 66, Frankie Anderson on the stop. Brings up third down for the Graymar Pirates.
Number one. Well, number one, Alvin Eagle downs the ball himself, and it brings up fourth down for the Pirates. Ball on the bear, 31 yard line. pass is incomplete and the Bears take over first and ten Una Bears will take over on their own 31 yard line excuse me 30 The ball moves around and the Pirates end up with a first and ten Pirates and mark the ball just on the Bear 21 yard line. pass is called by Beatty and he scores. Two point conversion with 632 left to go in the second quarter. The Pirates are on top 28 to nothing. Yeah, this might be a third quarter game. Well, it's definitely going to be a third quarter. Over with in three. Can't take nothing away from the Pirates. I mean they're tough. Yeah. You got a nice receiver and you got a nice quarterback and they're they're connecting. Yeah. 
Number 32, Marcus Doss downs it for the Bears, and the Bears take over right there, first and 10 Bears. Bear on their own, Bears on their own 18 yard line, first and 10 Una Bears. Number 17, Batson on the run, and number 20, Alfonso Washington on the stop. It brings up second down for the Univers. Number nine, Will Travers keeps it himself for the Bears, and it's going to bring up fourth down for the Una Bears. Kick that ball. They're smart. Time out, Raymar Pirates. Number 44, Adrian Russell on the run back, and number 17, Batson on the stop. Dominique Batson, first and 10, Graymar Pirates. Ball on the bear, eight yard line. Number 44, Russell on the carry. He's in there. 
Number 44, Adrian Russell scores for the Graymar Pirates. Pirates will now attempt the extra point conversion. <coughs> pass is incomplete. So, with three minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the first half, the Pirates are on top, 34 to nothing. Mm, the sad part is they can kick it off, stop them again, stop them four plays and win another touchdown. It's just turning into a crucifixion. Yeah. Number 32, Doss on the run back, and number 20, Alfonso Washington on the stop. It brings up first and 10 for the Unibears. They mark the ball just at the Bear 21 yard line. Where they've been for about an hour. carry and number two, Clark Beatty on the stop. It brings up second down for the Unibears. They all blitz. Ooh. 50. Nails. He's still trying to find his credentials. 50 nails. pass is incomplete and that'll bring up fourth down for the Unibears.
They mark the ball on the 26 yard line. Fourth down. Stepped out of bounds. Number 20, Alfonso Washington on the carry back. Number 32, Marcus Dahl pushes him out of bounds. And that's where the Pirates will take over. First and 10 Pirates. Pfizer on the carry, and number 74, Zach Betts on the stop. Timeout has been called with 23 seconds left in the first half. Let them do their cheers. Well, I guess they look up to us whenever they want to us to play this thing. Yeah, I do. Danielle Zaret. Zaret. up and it looks to be okay. Let's give him a round of applause. We don't want nobody hurt. Five seconds left to go in the first half. They're going to score right here. We're going to try it. Receivers. They're passing. The play action pass is picked off. 
Number 35, Jarrell Gray, picked it off for the Unibears. And that's the end of the first half. Your score, the Graymar Pirates, 34, Unibears, nothing. Chain gangs in place, clock keepers ready to go, and we're ready to start the second half of the Unibears and the Graymar Pirates. Remember, immediately following this game, we will crown the division champion, then the runner-up, and then the state champion of double-A football action for 1999. Last game on the card for tonight, Laverne Varsity and Graymar Varsity. Number 24, Andre Kitterly, runs it back for a touchdown for the Graymar Pirates. The Pirates will now attempt the extra point conversion. He wasn't even touched, was he? Mm -hmm. Untouched. Be everybody in the line. He throws. No good. The play action pass is incomplete. So the Pirates score again, and it's 40 to nothing. Graymar. Did you play Mid-State Youth? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna try to kick him. 32 and 53, yeah. Number 32, Marcus Dolph brings it back up field. Number 50, Jocavius Craig on the stop. First and 10, Una Bears. They mark the ball just on the Bear 23 yard line. Jarrell Gray on the carry and number 55 Keith Farmer on the stop. Ball just on the 24 yard line. Second down. Oh. 
Eric. Who got him? I'm trying to see. 17 was a ball carrier. And who, by the way? 50. 50. Number 17, Dominique Batson on the carry. Number 50, Jock Cavius Craig on the stop. Third down for the Uta Bears. Just power. Mm. Play action pass is incomplete, and that'll bring up fourth down for the Uta Bears. Last time. Either that or go for it to score. Mm. Throw it up. You can't let it run up any worse than that, so yeah. you might as well, but I guess you're right. We need to punt it. That would be a smart They're going to fake it. Whistle on the play and we'll wait for the call. Uh, false start against the uh, false start against you. False start against the Bears. Still fourth down. Yeah, they really have to punt. You can't, you can't be this stupid and try to go for it. Right, that's a fairly good kick. Number three, Sean Harris returns it for the Pirates. And number 17, Batson there on the stop. And that's where the Pirates will take over. First and ten, Graymar Pirates. They mark the ball dead set on the Bear 20-yard line. and the Pirates score. Pirates will now attempt the extra point conversion. Someone want to stop the clock? They're going to let it run. Oh, they just say give up. No, that's just... Mid-state youth referees have that option. Oh, and just let the clock run? Yeah. There's no sense in letting them sit there getting beat. Yeah. Regardless if the coach thinks so or not, yeah, it's you just right. don't... It's inferior to the children. We just. Let's see. Yep. Two point conversion. The play action pass is called by number five, Ryan Lee, and good for two points. Oh, he's a, that makes it 48 to nothing, Pirates. Game, so. He had like a phone number or something like that. Did he have? Um, I meant to get my order in and I forgot. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'll tell you who it is. It's Josh Dickerson. He's on the football board. I'm not for sure of his number, but he's on the football board down at Smyrna. Oh, uh, Smyrna. Gene Carr can give you that. Okay, okay. I have my I think everybody's meeting in mid-state. You meeting tomorrow? I don't have, but I won't be there. I'll be, I got to go uh, to a dinner thing on General Jackson tomorrow. But I'll, I'll tell one of my coaches to check on it. Yeah. Okay. Take over first and ten bears. 
Yeah, that's all they're trying to do. Trying to teach them a lesson. We just kind of were a thing. Getting back at him. I believe it was number 17, Dominique Batson, on the carry. I know number 20, Alfonso Washington, was there on the stop. Brings up second down for the Univers. The last game of the evening will be between the Laverne Varsity Wolverines and the Graymar Pirates Varsity. Game set to kick off at 6.30. Start called on the Bears. That'll back it up. Five yards still third down. Thank you so much. How much does it take? Uh, I'm not filming as far as for time. I'm just filming for Mid-State Youth. Dickerson was filming earlier for from um, he was from 8.30 to 2.30. He was filming y'all at 2.30. Can you get a tape if you're, since you're recording? Well, it'd be a little bit... I probably can dub one, yeah. If I give you a name and number, I'll pay for it. I mean, well, how good it'll be. I'm not an expert. But <laughs> I know I feel. Uh, get. Uh, it'll take me a day or two to make it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, get probably won't need one. If we get our butt blown out, we won't need it. But. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if you do, get in touch with uh, Gene. Hold on, I'll give you a business card. Oh, they don't want to roll. What happened to you on this game, man? They got destroyed, didn't they? Man, they did. Man, you barely hear that mic, that PA outside. It's not as good as what, what I'm accustomed to at Smyrna. I can tell you that. Seems like high school, they'd have a good one. That's yes, right. Yes. Okay, just give you a call? Yeah, if you want one. If you still want one, if you want to wait, and then I'll I'll cut you one. It won't take it won't take me but about an hour, hour and a half. Okay, thank you, buddy. Hey, don't worry about it. Mm. Look, that's a good feel. Bad first, first and ten, Graymar Pirates. What was 
supposed to call? I have no idea. He just went like this. I don't know what that is. What? He went like this across his arm. Yes, what's that? Is there even a name? He leaves me a call like that. I don't know. Substitution infraction. Oh. We're not for sure, but on the last call, I believe it was a substitution infraction. Yep. That was the call. And as the clock winds down, ball game. <sighs> Let's give both teams a round of applause as they line up to shake hands in the spirit of good sportsmanship like conduct. That means you got a whole half hour to kill. Do that.